Broccoli might be the most accessible superfood that you have found in almost any supermarket in the country, easily gotten, cost effective. I got a big job here to convince you to put broccoli into your diet. I'm even going to give you my top five or six ways to be able to make it, cook it, make it taste better, edible, get your kids to eat it. That's coming in a little bit. But let me walk you through the beautiful benefits of this thing called broccoli. In just a cup of broccoli, you're getting two and a half grams of protein. That's astonishing. Everyone thinks meat when they think protein. You're getting it in broccoli. You're getting two and a half grams of fiber. So there's a lot of benefits I'm gonna talk about in the moment, one of them being in digestive health. But what makes broccoli so special? Broccoli provides so many different vitamins, so many different minerals. Vitamin C, one of the most powerful antioxidants. Broccoli has more vitamin C than oranges. <laughs> You put it in the system, it's great. It's got K1 in it. It's really good for your bone health. It's really good uh, to support proper blood health. B9 or folate, vitamin B9 inside of broccoli. It's important in regulating the function of your cells, the tissue growth inside of your cells. Iron is high in broccoli. It's a super important mineral, especially for females, especially for females that are postmenopausal. It's transporting oxygen around your body. This is why broccoli has been touted as a superfood because of its impact on fighting off things like cancer. Potassium is high in broccoli. Americans are tr uh, traditionally extremely deficient in potassium. It's one of the most important minerals that your body needs. It helps control fluid levels inside of your system. Most of us are full of processed salts, full of a lot of fluid, not enough potassium to get that fluid off of our body. Helps to control our blood pressure as well. Magnanese is a mineral that is needed in small amounts, but a good amount in broccoli to help the interactions of your body and how it fires each day. Doesn't stop there though. Vitamins and minerals are a plenty, but it is loaded with antioxidants. And some powerful ones, there's different compounds that are found in broccoli, like sulforaphane helps prevent certain types of cancer, like we talked about. Carotenoids, the well-known beta carotenoid, beta carotene, which is good for eye health, very high in broccoli. We usually only think about that with carrots. Carcetin, I love carcetin because it is a huge factor in your immune health. It also helps to lower your blood pressure at the same time, but it is very, very important for fighting off viruses. And then camphorol, which is another antioxidant that can protect against issues like heart disease. So Literally, broccoli is helping to fight heart disease. It's helping to fight cancer. Let's look at all of the benefits of this. The number one uh, out of the list is it lowers your cholesterol levels. So if you have high cholesterol, you're worried about heart health, broccoli can lower that cholesterol level. Research has shown that it does this. Um, and it, it has the ability to help you digest certain fats in the body so it doesn't turn into a cholesterol-causing problem. Uh, it also has substances that can bind to the bile acids inside of your digestive tract. Uh, inside of your gut, and it helps prevent your body from producing too much cholesterol that you may not need, uh, block some of that absorption, that's gonna lower your heart disease risk and cancer risk. It reduces bodily inflammation. This is my favorite part of broccoli. Every time I'm putting it in my mouth, even if you don't like it, I'm thinking I am lowering the fire. I'm putting the fire out. I am decreasing inflammation inside of my body because of all the bioactive compounds that broccoli contains. It reduces the amount of inflammation in your body, especially camphorol that I just mentioned. That's a plant compound that's a strong anti-inflammatory. So lower that in, uh, irritation, lower that inflammation, pop in some broccoli. Lots of antioxidants. I can't overstress this. There's so many great ones in this superfood. They're excellent at reducing skin irritation. They're excellent at lowering blood uh, sugar levels. It makes the heart better. Broccoli um, has that ability to lower LDL cholesterol like we talked about, enhancing cardiovascular help with all its antioxidant power. It's gonna help the triglycerides in the system. So it helps prevent heart attacks. It improves your digestion, one, from just the fiber levels. And so it helps you to, to uh, relieve constipation and backup inside of the system, but it also helps to break things down so that the waste can properly pass through your body and you can absorb the nutrients that you do need. Broccoli also feeds the good bacteria inside of your gut and inside of your colon that needs to have a good, strong microbiome. Uh, it needs to feed it fermented vegetables. Broccoli is one of the best versions of this. So. Broccoli has all kinds of health benefits for you that you may not have known. How do we get this inside of the system? How do we make it more edible? I like to dip mine into hummus 
or in a healthy, non-bad oil form of a ranch dressing, fantastic. You can just eat it raw that way and you're getting in some nutrients from the hummus, uh, the beans themselves. Steaming it, great option. Uh, it doesn't taste as well, but you could steam it really easily. Um, baking it is a really popular one that we do at our house. You bake it, put a little olive oil or avocado oil over it, salt and pepper, fantastic. Really, really easy to make. I would definitely try that one uh, on your next what do I have for a side dish with my main dish outing. You can blend it into a smoothie. Literally take either the ends of the broccoli or the whole piece of broccoli, put it into the smoothie. Don't overdo it, but you'll get a sort of a fresh flavor if you just put a little bit of a broccoli in your smoothie in the morning or douse it with mayonnaise and apple cider vinegar, healthy mayonnaise from a avocado-based oil or a grapeseed-based oil. Apple cider vinegar, simple broccoli salad. So take your broccoli salad recipe, substitute in healthy mayonnaise and apple cider vinegar for the vinegar, and then use the broccoli. You could add in um, some raisins, watch the sugar there. You could add in some nuts like sunflower seeds uh, uh, into it as well. Excellent, chop up some red onions, give it a little kick. Easy way to get broccoli in, dousing it in mayonnaise, but that can keep in the fridge for several days. Get in the broccoli, the benefits are overwhelming. This is the most accessible superfood that you have right down the street at your local grocery store. Almost everywhere you walk into has a natural organic version. If you can't get it organic, still put it into your system and try one of those ways to get it in for a simple tip. So more tips right here for you to get these healthy foods in. My job is to make food and make health simple for you. So there's resources right next to this video. Check these videos out here as well and subscribe to the channel for more help to experience real health.